This is new product time. Okay, let's start up. Okay, first up, all the colored cases are in. Colorful cases for the Raspberry Pi. If you want the coolest looking case to complement your Raspberry Pi, we've got them. All the, all the colors. We also have an updated onion pie pack. Mm. So what is so updated about this? The onion pie pack and also the coder pack has been updated. Um, we've updated to the Raspberry Pi B+, which is very good because the B+, has more USB ports, which is awesome, better, lower power supply, awesome. Uh, we now have this case, it fits very nicely in this case. Uh, we upgraded the power supply as well, and um, this is the version with the big antenna um, uh, version, and then we're also going to have one that's a smaller antenna, we're still shooting photos for that. And we also updated the coder pack also from the Model B to the B+. As you know, we're starting to transition everything over from Model B to B+, because people are going to be using the B+, and A+, going forward. I think that that's like it, even though there's like a couple million Raspberry Pi Model Bs, um, any new projects we're going to probably like focus okay. on making it working with the B only. Okay. Next up. Um, there's these brake beam sensors, and you have two different types, it seems, so mm -hmm. I can show the this photos. Is this is a three millimeter one. Yeah. Which is less expensive, shorter range. And we also have the five millimeter one, which I think is the next set of photos. Yeah. Yeah, bigger LEDs, more expensive, also longer range. Uh, this comes as a pair. You get a transmitter, which is an IR LED, which transmits IR light, and a receiver oh. uh, photo transistor that can detect that light and basically turn on and off depending on whether it sees it. Basically, uh, these two together turn into a brake beam. That's what I suggest you use them for. You can also use them for like data transfer, kind of maybe, but break. really, mm, their best use is the a beam. Brake. Break. The beam. Okay. <laughs> Want to go to the overhead or anything? Yeah. So I have a demo here actually, okay. and I need your I need your assistance. So I'm going to. These are the. This is the transmitter, and here, oh, you, can you can see it. You can see it. Ooh. Yeah. Because it's see IR. Okay. Uh, so can I break the beam? Hold on. So now I have it so that they're. I'm gonna break the beam. Okay, so if I line these up, hold on. Okay, so they're lined up now, and then if you break the beam. I'm gonna break the beam. beam. I broke the beam. You broke the beam. Don't break the beam. You have to put your hand up, yeah. I broke the beam. Go for it. I broke the beam again. Okay, anyways, uh, it's basically, you know, LED emitter and then a uh, phototransistor and then I connected the LED to the phototransistor. It's just a very basic sensor, but for a lot of people, um, you know, like we want to do a project where there's a box and if you stick your hand in the box, it makes a sound. Uh, this is a perfect sensor for that because you just put it on each side of the box and when somebody puts their hand in, um, the beam breaks and it knows that you're there. They're very fast um, compared to PIR sensors and they're pretty low cost. Like the three millimeter one is like two bucks. What's the range? Um, the range for the three millimeter one is 10 inches, 25 centimeters, and the five millimeter one is 50 centimeters. Okay. So like All right. half a meter. So yeah, I mean, there's a, it's like a little bit of a trade off between power and cost and distance. I actually use the three millimeter ones for most projects and it, it works pretty well. Um, the beam is 10 degrees, so you really have to make sure that they're lined up, but there's attachment holes. So you attach them, you know, using these, um, mounting holes. And then um, once that's done, you know, it stays aligned. You can break the beam with like anything that isn't transparent. Okay. Next up, um, I'm really happy about this. Our friends Pi Maroni have a new product. It's called Displayatron. And 3000. The, yeah, the Displayatron 3000 works with Raspberry Pi. And it is one of the coolest little displays that you can get. It's so cute. Yeah, it's super cute. And let's go to the overhead. This is the Displayatron, so it's a 16 by 3 um, character display, and it has RGB no. LEDs okay. behind it, so you can see as it looks, and it looks really great because it's the... Um, it's trippy. It's, well, it's super trippy. Uh, and it plugs into the Raspberry Pi model A+, B+, B, or A. I mean, it plugs into all of them, and it uses only, like, I think the I2C pins. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but basically it's, it's quite easy to get working with anything, and it has you know like a joysticky type thing. It has some extra LEDs over here, and this is just the demo. Um, yeah, it's just like blinking and stuff. Okay. So, yeah, check All it. right, another Pimeroni electronic product, the unicorn hat. Now, I would say, if you're looking for something like a NeoPixel hat, because we didn't release that yet, this is what you want to get. This is 
the unicorn hat and it is super glowy. And because my new software that I use doesn't play animated GIFs, I'm going to use the overhead. the overhead. Yeah. Oh, got it. So let me turn this off. Boop, um, boop, 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 this is the demo. Boop, it kind of has a little heartbeat boop, effect. Boop. There's 8x8 eight eight, uh, NeoPixel WS2812s. And it's driven by pin 18 on the Raspberry Pi. It uses this DMA hack that, that people are doing with NeoPixels to, to make NeoPixels controllable by a Raspberry Pi. Does, it does work quite well. Um, it has an EEPROM and some level shifter circuitry, and it's super slim. And I show it here on um, the B+, Plus, but it, it's hat size. So it's exactly the same size as the Model A+, Plus, so it would make a very nice little A+, Plus attachment. And uh, you can set like the brightness, and it has a great library that comes with it, and it's overall just a, a lovely piece of code. So, yay! Quite nice. Okay. And next up, we have um, some trinket packs in. Now, this is a pretty good deal. If you wanted a trinket um, and you wanted a trinket book, you'll save some bucks. We have the book plus trinket. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the book plus the very popular LED goggles. So if you wanted to make the LED goggles that are also in the book, we have a book and a pack. This is a very easy way to give someone a present. For the and holidays. it's like a super big discount. I mean, if you buy the book, you're basically getting like five bucks off a trinket, and if you yeah. buy it with the goggle pack, you get ten bucks off. So we're we're making it a very yeah. uh, good deal. Okay. Next up, this is another uh, Pi Maroni. This is like Pi Maroni week. Wow, Pi Maroni week. All right, so this is uh, kind of like a like one of those cars from the '50s. It's like a chop top. It's like a very low profile. Is it the coupe? The what is coupe. It? The Royal A plus coupe. All right, so I'll go to the overhead. Yeah, sure. Let me just put this. So I, I cannibalized the uh, hat from <clears throat> the unicorn hat. This is the oh. A plus, so it, it does what? It does. Uh, uh, yeah, I put cover, us up there. Cover so. the whole thing. And it's very slim, and it has these nice labels on it, so it's you can easily plug stuff in. And basically, it's just a protector, but it's just like kind of minimalist. And then um, you can plug in your hats. On top. Hold on, if I can get the pin line up quickly. Whoa, hold on. There's a lot of pins to line up. So many pins. So many pins. So many pins. So you can plug in a hat on top, which is quite nice. Um, Um, and it sits like right on top of it, but it's like protected. And then like I can't get this glass pin in for some reason. And then at the bottom has a nice logo and you can see stuff and like there's a little protected area for the SD card. And it's a fairly low cost. So it's kind of like a simple protector for yeah. the A+. Plus. Uh, the A plus is super cute. So if you, if you have one, I suggest getting a custom A plus case to keep it extra small. It's our favorite um, new board. It's so adorable. I mean, like I, I like the A, but the A plus is like super, super cute. It's our favorite inboard. Okay, next up. Um, these are a lot of displays. So um, I guess I'll just go through them and you can, um, we'll go to the overhead or you can just talk about these. These are all, mm -hmm. all of the. Um, They're HDMI 10, 24 by Yeah, 600. you went HDMI screen crazy. Yeah, we have almost all of the screens, finally. Yeah. So we've uh, got the seven inch, um, 1024 by 600 displays, yeah. and uh, they're they're pretty look, they're as high like resolution this. as you're going to get for Boop. a TTL display. Boop. They look quite nice, and we have them in three flavors. We have the version. This is the version with the audio um, output, so it has built-in HDMI speaker output because it can okay. do HDMI audio over the HDMI cable, so it has like high-quality audio video. This is the mini driver. It has only HDMI, but because it has only HDMI, no other connectors, and it's very small and slim. It's the easiest one to like fit into a place, and also you can power it over USB. And then this is the kind of the generic driver board um, that you can use. It, it can use HDMI, VGA, or composite. So kind of like any output that you have, you can use this uh, display with it. And I have a demo of this over here. I plugged into a Raspberry Pi. Hold on, I gotta like okay. do a thing. I'm gonna turn this off so it shows up. Hold on. Okay, so it doesn't show up great because it's, you know, it's stuff. But um, 
You've got um, 1024 by 600 pixels. Um, it works great with Raspberry Pi, as you can see here. It also works great with like Windows and a Mac. Like it's all kind of good to go. And um, yeah, this one has HDMI. And you can power it with 5 volts to 12 volts, and it all looks just fancy. Um, and it comes as like a bare display, but you can use these wire stands. Like, you can hold up here. And you fit it onto the stand, and that way you kind of have it to, to sit up. This is the, yeah, it's like, this is the highest resolution you can get in seven inches, unless you go to the really expensive, but like IPS um, monitors. I think that this is like a pretty good display, 1024 by 600, and it has a scaler, so you can use higher resolutions, and it will scale up and down as necessary. But, I mean, like we ran uh, XBMC on it, it looked really good, and it can yeah. stream video, you can use it with the Raspberry Pi, you can use it with anything. So, yeah, this is a nice extension to, you know, we've had, um, Seven inch monitors and 800 by 480. We have five inch monitors. We have IPS monitors. I think this is kind of like one of the last monitors that we're going to carry. Yeah. Like we have like all the other sizes. What I noticed is um, we have a lot of business to business mm -hmm. customers and they're buying a ton of these. I don't know what they're doing. I don't ask. These and are great we, for like kiosks. Those are the ones that we have with yeah, touch and stuff. Yeah. Like all like, over the world, um, we're selling hundreds of these. Like all over the place, and I, yeah. I wish I knew where some of them were going because I'd like to see the photos, but maybe we walk by them all the time and we don't even know. This looks better if you just hold it up on the monitor so you yeah. can see. Yeah, and you have protective nice film on it, too. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't like to pull the yeah. film off. Okay, I'm well, I'm going to package them up. With that, Lady Ada, was new products. Good work.